Hi guys, my name is Elena, this is Lookup channel. And today I will tell you about one non-obvious element of the Russian unconventional weapons, the Russian Orthodox Church, that serves as an extremist agent of the Kremlin regime. Occasionally it is even called a branch of the Russian Federal Security Service. Its monasteries served as a military basis for Putin's army in Ukraine. Its priests bless Russian soldiers to go to Ukraine and to kill the civilians. And its patriarchs enjoy beautiful life, luxury cars, expensive watches and other inappropriate to their positions entertainments. Let's start with Kirill, who is a patriarch of Russian Orthodox Church and a confidant of Putin. He publicly uses the church under his control as a weapon and with the help of his moral authority supports the brutal Kremlin genocide. Kirill is an extremely wealthy oligarch and has been sanctioned by several countries for blessing war crimes. Although his treasures and love to the expensive things, he is hiding very well. A few years ago, the journalist found a photo of Kirill with blue watch on his wrist, but the photo specialist neglected to remove the reflection of the watch in the surface of the Polish table at which Kirill was sitting. However, after the scandal, he just stopped hiding his Ulis Nardin and bracket. He has been patriarch of Moscow since 2009 and controlled both Russian Orthodox Church and Ukrainian Church, which historically was under Moscow until 2019. That year, thousands of Ukrainian churches broke away from Moscow Patriarchate which was allowed by Supreme Orthodox Patriarch Bartholomew in Constantinople, Istanbul. For 300 years, Ukrainians have worshipped the Moscow Patriarch, but in recent years they have come to realize that many of his churches were designed to increase the Kremlin's influence in Ukraine. The split infuriated Kirill and Putin. Patriarch Kirill said to be a former KGB operative, like most of Putin's cronies, were generously rewarded for his services. In March in 2022, Patriarch Kirill said at Sunday ceremony that death in the war with Ukraine takes away all sins, blessed Russian troops to kill Ukrainians and actually compared the mobilized Russians with Jesus Christ. He also called for fighting against the fascism and evil in Ukraine. У нас нету никакого стремления к войне или к тому, чтобы делать нечто, что могло бы причинить вред другим. Но мы уж так воспитаны всей нашей историей, что любим свое Отечество и будем готовы защищать его так, как только русские могут защищать свою страну. Да поможет нам Господь и сегодня, будучи мирными, миролюбивыми и скромными людьми, мы одновременно были бы готовы всегда и при любых обстоятельствах защитить свой родной дом. Kirill is sharing Putin's messages that Russia is fighting against the unipolar world and often makes parallels between the Western world and the Antichrist. Kirill named euthanasia, LGBT marriages and genetic experiments as features of the approaching apocalypse. Here are some examples of how the Russian priests and metropolitans use religion to promote Putin's ideology. Sevalet Chaplin, deceased in 2020, Russian priest was known for his scandalous anti-Ukrainian statements and hatred for Ukraine. Back in 2019, he called for annexation of Ukraine's capital, Kyiv. Krim, Центр Руси, Киев, потерян в результате наступления западных враждебных сил. Мы можем изменить эту ситуацию. The priest was a supporter of Stalin's policy and the killing of enemies in millions. Stalin used the religion to boost morale of the fighting Soviet soldiers in 1943 and exploited churches as headquarters of Soviet secret police, who would spy on the so-called enemies of the state. This is why the priests of Stalinist era were nicknamed Czechists in Cossacks or security officers in Cossacks. And the use of such tradition is one of the main instruments of Putin's regime in modern Russia. А что в конце концов плохого в уничтожении некоторой части внутренних врагов? Совершенно точно. Некоторых убивать можно и нужно. Для, для назидания обществ 
иногда необходимо уничтожить некоторое количество тех, кто достоин уничтожения. Another famous Russian religious figure is Artemy Vladimirov, a senior priest and confessor of the Alexeyevsky Stavropol Convent in Moscow. He is known for his pan-Slavic ideological thoughts and his rejection of the Western world. Будем надеяться, что в ближайшее время к нам присоединится Молдова. Казахстан, Украина несчастная, на подходе Грузия. Ну а что будет с Прибалтикой, сами можете догадаться. What the Russians are doing to Ukraine, you can see now online. Think for yourself about the Baltic countries. Жалко англосаксов, жалко датчан. After Russia invaded Ukraine on 24th of February, the churches of the Moscow Patriarchy on the Ukrainian land turned into shelters for the Russian forces and their military equipment. In short, they became the military bases. In this video you can see a village near Kyiv in the first days of full-scale war. On the territory of the church are allowed Russian vehicles, the Russians are walking there with guns. Moreover, this guy in the video is one of the collaborators who was supposed to become a minister of Kyiv after the Russians captured it. This is Oleg Tsarov and he is also recording the video from the territory of the church of the Russian Patriarchate. We are here from the first day of the war, we can say from the first hour. In the meantime, there is a lot of videos on which some Russian priests bless the Russian soldiers and go to Ukraine to drive into civilian cities and villages. More than that, Russian priests consecrate the nuclear weapons. Nuclear weapons are the salvation of the Russian people, their culture and temples. Archipriest Dmitry Smirnov, chairman of the Patriarchal Commission of Family Issues, told Radio Moscow, and added that Russia exists only thanks to missiles. After the beginning of the invasion, Ukrainian special services began to deal with representatives of the Russian Church in Ukraine. They conducted the searching in the Moscow Orthodox churches in Ukraine. Security service of Ukraine uncovered suspicious individuals with Russian passports, unregistered guns and Russian propaganda materials which are calling for occupation of Ukraine and prayers for Putin. So far, 33 priests have been arrested. This collaboration is not surprising. The security service of Ukraine took searches in the main church called Kyiv Pichers Klavra, located in Kyiv. It is listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The prior of it is Pavlo Lebit, who is nicknamed as Pasha Mercedes because of his love for expensive foreign cars and regular traffic violations. Back in 2019, he called Ukraine the aggressor in the war in Donbass and at the 18th International Orthodox Film Festival Pokrov emphasized the need for unity with Russia. After the Russian invasion of Ukraine in 2022, Metropolitan Pavlo did not condemn Russia and stated that the Ukrainians did not listen to the warnings and now repeat the benefits. These are just some some examples of how the Russians use religion and church as an instrument of war and how Russian Orthodox Church is serving the Kremlin regime, zombie prayers and calling mobilized soldiers for killing Ukrainians. And the tentacles of the Russian Church extend far beyond Ukraine. Now Russian priests are helping to implement the Kremlin's geopolitical interests even in faraway Africa. Дешевый бес. Бес ты!